Hey guys, I am back again with another dirty wall video and you won't be seeing that for long because as you can see by the title, we are going to be making a type of art piece which is going to need some art supplies like a canvas that you see here, here, can't speak today. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. It's fun, it's easy, at least I think. You just have to let it dry. It's all fun and it's, it's good. Just stay tuned to watch because you'll love it. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a canvas, which right now I'm using this one. I got it at Walmart. And you're gonna need your paint, of course. So I'm doing these colors for like the main, which these are gonna be like a mixed together color. And then I'll be having this for the brick portion. And then you're going to need some tape, which this is from some frog tape, and it works much better than the blue tape. So, And then next, you're, you can use this, the sponges, and make circles. Or you can do like a gradation if you want, something like that. But I want to be using sponges. And then you're going to need paint brushes for um, the second part of it. And then you're gonna need the the palettes, which if you already have them, you can use that. But I'm gonna be get, using this, and I got this at Walmart too. Good tip is to keep a old towel on your counter so you don't get your table dirty. Another good tip is to keep a cup of water to clean off your brushes. I'm gonna have this one for my gray and this one for my pink and gold. The best thing is to use three different sponges so then it's, so you don't have to wash them every single time and these get really wet if you wash them a lot, if you wash them, so I would recommend three different sponges. So first you're gonna wanna start off by grabbing, using your sponge and dipping it into some paint. And I'm gonna start with the dark one, which is the gray and the paint's on there you don't want too much but you still want enough so it actually goes on it so you're just gonna sponge it on there and this is gonna take a while to dry but you just keep sponging it and it's okay if it runs out because sponges are gonna be everywhere and then you just grab some more and you don't you still want to keep your sponge after you're done with this because then you um uh, can touch it up some paint and if you have too much on like one like that then you can just take it off of there and then like put it on another one I have this much so far and I'm gonna grab another one and I'm just gonna go in with the next darkest which I'm just gonna grab the pink but if you don't have anything like metallic which since I have like a gold then I'm gonna be putting that one on last. So I'm gonna start just blotching it on the same as I did with the gray. And I'm just gonna go on all the holes. You can put overlap it too. It doesn't matter because in the end you're gonna be overlapping it the whole time. Now you're going to want to let it dry for a little bit and when you're doing this you have to make sure that it's dry because then the other paint that you're going to be using will stick very well and the tape will take up your other paints that are already on here. Once your painting is all dry you're going to want to grab your white paint or you can use one of the colors in here to make it pop more. Or you can even like use black, you can use any color, but I'm going to use white, and this is where your tape comes in. So you're going to want to cut these into rectangles, and you probably want them the same size. And if you want, you can use a ruler so that they are the same size. Now that you have a couple pieces of tape that are like in a rectangular form, and I have like a few cut out right now, but you're gonna wanna keep cutting them. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in one corner like this, 
and I usually just tape the corner, all the, the whole corner, so then it's clean. So you just want to lay it like that, so then there's just like a triangle. And then next, you're going to want to do it like in a brick formation, so leave like a little bit of space in between. You don't want it too big. You can, but my I'm going to be doing it like smaller, and then you want to make sure that it's like even so then it doesn't get bigger or smaller down there. And put it on like that. And then with the next one, you do the same thing, but you leave, leave a bit space in between the one that you just put. So then it would look like this. Now you just keep putting them on. It's like in different formations and you can go like this and things so then you can put it on as however you'd like and just make it look like a bunch of bricks Now's the time if you have a really crooked line or like it's smaller on one part and bigger on another like this right here then you go in with your tape you grab a piece so that has like a straight edge instead of like curved and then you just go lay it on top of the part of the one that's not straight. Now that you're done taping the whole thing, make sure you run your hands along it and so you know that it's all flat. So then when you're painting, it doesn't come up and get underneath of those, underneath of the tape and it doesn't um, ruin your painting. Now you grab your paint and this is where the brushes come in. You can use either one. You just don't want a brush that the bristles come out. Otherwise, it will be hard to get off, get it off of your painting. And you can also use a sponge too, but I prefer a brush. So you're going to use your paint. You're going to dip it in. And then you're just going to want to start painting over it. And it's okay if you get it on the tape and you just want to paint on your whole painting, painting on your other paint, and that's why you use the tape and that's why you have to make sure that it's all pressed down, otherwise your paint might get all like smudgy. And that's why the green tape is better than the blue. Now you're going to have to let this sit and dry and then do another coat over top of it. Now that it's all done, all you have to do is just start ripping it off. And it's just the big reveal. And you can see how it looks. Just peel it up like this. Just keep peeling it off. Now it's the big reveal. Oh. So that is how you make this brick painting art. I hope you guys try it. It's pretty fun. Just got to know that art takes a while. And if you want to do it, you just have to be patient. And it can be a blast. This is the finished product. Okay, now that it's literally 50 hours later, 
I am all done and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's cute. It's gonna be my sister's birthday present since it kind of match matches her room, her room. And make sure you get colors that match really well. Like these are like the her colors of the room and like it's the gold, the gray, the pink. And I just think that it just looked, turned out really nice and good and fresh. So I hope you guys enjoyed and are inspired to do something like it because it's pretty fun. I also did it where you do like the rainbow, like it's like kind of like a gra gradation, but like with many colors. So like you like just paint up and down with every color and blend it all. That looks cool with it too. And then you do the same brick with the tape and everything. And this is the best tape. Go get it, frog tape. So I hope you guys liked it, this video. Like down below leave a thumbs up wait yeah <laughs> leave a thumbs up down below comment if you have any questions and turn on bell notifications subscribe because it's pretty fun here sometimes <laughs> and i guess thanks for watching see you later peace bye